first one. The other. The, the number one. The number one. And this is the last one. Oh. Yeah, that's lost. They don't know where I am. <laughs> and this is the second to the last. <laughs> second to the last. Introduce one. yourself. Mm. And there's me. Hello. So um, today we're just doing the Gen Z and the Millennials. You know, mm -hmm. we had the Gen Z split in the house. Why you Raise your hand, hand for the Gen Z. Come here, the Gen Z very well. No, oh, it's it's really, really, this is the real home. It's a truthful home. Do you guys know how to do YouTube videos? Well, the, our YouTube videos are not being normal. Instead of the Gen Z, they are supposed to wave. Gen Z, we are the Gen Z. We're the now. <laughs> so we are the Gen Z in the house. Oh, hi. Let's do it. Gen Z. Gen Z. Gen Z. Gen Q, Mama. Gen Q. And we are the millennials. Millennials, they don't lose for free. Hello, hello. See us here. So and today, we're just going to meet the sisters. Well, these are the four of us. For those of you that watched my intro video, I mentioned having four sisters. Uh, sorry, three sisters. This is not my sister. This is my daughter. You guys know Zikora right? already. My, my niece. <laughs> my niece is young. And this is this is. And that's on what? Period. Period. So I have three sisters. She is my elder sister, the other of the house. Mm -hmm. Please introduce yourself. Hello. Number one. This is Vivian, of course, a recent mother. Vivian Viaz of um, Instagram and Viaz Vlog as well. She's a YouTuber as well. For those of you that don't know, mm. this is a YouTube page. You can go and visit and see her videos on the screen. And this is what? Vanessa, I'm a CEO of a crochet brand named <laughs> NS1 Crochet. CEO. CEO. Yeah. <laughs> She's a TikToker and what? She crochets. Yeah. yeah. Is it crochets or crochet? Crochet. crochet. Mm -hmm. You see, guys, should pardon me. I don't know. And she is Chris. My name is Chris. Mm. You know, you call me Chris. You call me Christina. The what? coconut head of the house. The oh, I am a C. Oh. Dot e. Oh, oh Jesus. Dot O. Oh, Lord. <laughs> of an editing company. Company. Mm -hmm. company. And associates. No. And under the company, this is basically software. Yeah. yeah. So you can check out her um, Instagram Instagram yeah. page. Edit me nice. Yeah, edit me nice. Basically. You see the Very... um, Instagram on the screen now. And Please, also her personal. Email. If you want someone to edit you nice, I like, mean, she gives you like standard features. Very like, soon, we get into videos, and you know, you'll be sweet videos, like ice cream. You'll be like a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah, main yeah. page is Chris Wanna. On what? Instagram, on Instagram or Instagram and TikTok. I'm a TikToker. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. We are like, both TikTokers. Oh, okay, the TikTokers. True. So we have you Gen like copying everything I say. Gen Z is doing this TikTok <laughs> business. You know this what that's like. But well, you know, we're CEOs, you have to be everywhere. <laughs> and we are what YouTubers, mamas, HR, hmm. business people. Yeah. So, so you know, Gen Z and this is what upcoming professor. Upcoming. Say hi. Oh, is she on the frame? Zanyashkin. Yes, she's on the frame. They say Zanyash on my camera. Continue. Zanyash, <laughs> Zanyashkin. Mom, will you carry your daughter? Oh, please give me my child. <laughs> so, guys, what's your take on relationships? Uh, For me, um, I, you guys know, before like, I had Zikara, I was thinking I was going to get married like for 24, or it didn't work as planned. Yeah. So, you guys can see, I'm not 24. Well, I'm not 30. Oh, well, yeah, I'm married and I have a daughter. My other fellow um, millennial. Yeah, that's, what, that's why I'm looking behind. My son just woke up. So, my mother, I'm married. Um, my relationship has been with someone I, I, wish I was in. his face as he woke up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, break advert. <laughs> yes, so we have the millennials you can see with our hands. Mm. We have brought in the new Gen Q. <laughs> and <laughs> here you have the Gen Z's. What do you take on relationships? You know oh, me? Yeah. Well, I believe relationship is a foul moment that is, you know, meant to be. What a what? What, what, what a what? How can you know that with everything you say? You have two married sisters. So, <laughs> anything you have before, not what, No, what's your actual take on uh, marriage and relationship? Marriage. Relationship that leads to marriage or just relationships? Oh. I feel like if you are going to be in a relationship, you should think of marriage right? instead of just a relationship. Yes. But personally, me, I don't believe, like, I don't think right now I'm thinking of marriage. So at what age do you want to think of marriage? Because I was thinking of marriage at 24. Okay, uh, right now I'm not thinking of marriage at all. At so, all. <laughs> not so when you get married, 25. 
<laughs> Probably your, your possible eggs forty. Your eggs will finish. If you guess not that eggs will finish. Yeah, at forty five. We still have five years to yeah, work on that. Five. Not in our 40. house. Not in our house in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> at what age are you thinking of marriage? So basically you guys, my sisters are basically people I learned from because someone that they loved and they married the person. From my experience in this world, I've not really seen like things like that and Do you have a boyfriend? Nah. No boyfriend. I've not been anything serious. I feel like I'm still a baby safe in that aspect. Your TikTokers are expecting to I'll be giving them any I hope you don't tell them that you have a boyfriend because you I will expose you now that you I want a boyfriend, boyfriend, but I don't want a boyfriend because if there's a boy in the, the world, I'm the in. boy will say Jesus, he will leave you. The world I'm in, like, um, I don't know my kind of personality. I'm for that ancient love that. Pavitra <laughs> Rishta! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> giving millennial a baby bloomer vibe. You know, um, yeah. you know, um, Paloma and Diego, right you know, the Second Chance, mm. Sebastian, you oh, know, Lord. Juan Miguel, you know, oh. stuff like that. He watches a lot of soccer from what I can Before you even go for that, let me just, let me just portray that fact, just to add to what she said. The kind of love that we have, we have these days. I think people are are losing the, the fact. They lose. Yeah, it's now more like a game. Mm. So if somebody hurts them. They want to hurt somebody. To hurt, yeah, and there's no can, real like yourself, authentication yeah. of the you know telling this person this is how you really feel. So mm. in, in reality, real love is scarce. It's very scarce, yeah. and they, yeah. they do a lot of you get my own. I give you back so money in exchange. Yeah. What can I get? What can I get back? Mm. Exactly. Someone mm. can be smiling at you and. Like the other person is your worst enemy. People are now reading books on manipulation, how to manipulate people in a relationship love, love instead of thinking of how to be with someone in a relationship. Exactly. Nobody you love to just come and use you. It's so crazy. Use you. Yeah. And that's to grow, to, and just to climb the ladder. Someone who said, told me that it was ladder, like some men are ladders. Ladder, 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 ladder. Let's guys, let's be serious. So basically, the take on um relationship for our Gen Z's is that they are scared of relationship. And let because, me wait, let me finish. I always yeah. forget them when you think <laughs> So basically, the to- um their take on relationship is that. These days, it's so hard to find true love. Yeah. There's a lot of fake love out there, and most of the people that are in getting to relationship are looking for what to gain, either to climb up the social scale, to build their following because they are I mean, they are established TikTokers, or to just use the person and you know it's go really away. Go. So real love is scarce. So how do we find real love? What well, how do we find real love then? Mm-hmm. So, so like from my own point of view, it's like I was saying, like. I've like experienced from the masculine point and feminine point. Mm. If you check my Instagram, Chriswana. Like I switch, like I'm growing both my masculine and feminine personality she goes together. Switches. So like I've received and I've I've given I've given so I always see like the same people in just different faces. Mm. Like so and, same and it depends on the age too and the and the mindset. And people with their friends that like influence their yeah. their decisions. Someone can be good, but they'll have like bad friends that will make them yes. think that their decision is like bad and they will not want to do what they think is good yeah, and that's how they lose themselves but I mean, love is now crazy i wish that i can like find real love so i say peer pressure is worse now yeah it, it actually is it actually is so you're not like them they look at their strength most of the people that smoke now it's peer pressure now oh, when you go to parties if you don't smoke they would think that you would think that you're not normal because there's little one that's not smoking oh wow yeah. among them oh wow no yeah. one's gonna pressure me guys <laughs> if, if you're here do not let it do not be pressured <laughs> okay I'm friendless now you know, you need to have some friends. I'll work on that. But please do not let peer pressure be a problem to you. If you're going out there, do you. Don't do for others. I can never be pressured for once. Have I ever been pre- and I like have from you, them. Have you ever been pressured to do something? To get a boyfriend, to, to marry, to, to have friends? To... I think um, it was like when I was quite younger that I think it kind of like got to a point. But then I think as a first girl, you then know that you have to, you know, be this person towards your older sisters and yeah. you know they have to look up to you, you and you need to role, take right? up that role so you know that if people can you know manipulate you that's how easy they can manipulate your sisters so when yeah. you look at me there's nothing that can influence my decision except me and people yeah. still think i'm stubborn but no, you're stubborn. Well, she's actually, very stubborn. It's true. Head whatever it's true that's true because many girls don't have elder siblings that can take care of them they're out there 
doing things and I'm meant to do. Because I know for a fact, the reason why I have high standards and I'm on my own, I manage myself because I know for a fact that if I need anything, I can ask my sisters. If I give you and they will show me. <laughs> yes, now, because... Then I know. Then tell me now, so I want to know. Because... Why? 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 If we need anything, we ask our sisters. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah, exactly. You cannot steal our sisters. That's our hand in peer pressure, yeah. Okay, so yes, I think having someone to look up to and not being um the first not child, being pressured what? Not being pressured to do what you don't want. Don't to do. be pressured to do what you don't want to do. So apparently, our Gen Z sisters are, are, are lucky to have us because, in as much as we had just ourselves growing up, yeah. because it was a hard time growing the up. Internet too wasn't that. The crazy. internet was not crazy. Social, um, social media pre- um, pressure was not that crazy. Yeah. Mama, you will come down. Really do you want to part of this video? So do not be pressured by social media, by things you see online, yeah. um, by people. It's just a facade, right? It's not real life. They just facade. put that uh, facade, facade. Please, you guys should correct me. Facade, facade. Those that, that agree for facade, please thumbs up. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> just I will go and write IELTS, and if I pass, if I pass your score, there will be a problem. Whatever. Anyway, so not to lose yourself at the end of the day. Do not exactly. lose yourself. Some things that you might not even know that should happen to you and just happen. Mm. It's, it's how you think, it's how you handle it at that point that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, you. true. So what's your worst experience? What um situation have you found yourself in that was like and literally what how did you come out of it? Wow. Yeah, Honestly. Honestly, I can't even pooped. I don't you then did you poop? <laughs> <laughs> So I think I would say my worst experience, and I've told um, everyone here in this table. At a point in my life, um, I think it was when we were still trying to figure out ourselves. And then I went to go and visit um, my cousin. And then she says, you know, let's go to Abuja, you know, you're on break, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then, of course, I've not really gone to Abuja before. I was eager to go. And I went with her because my cousin. So you believe that this person has got your back. And only for me to get there, and then I'm hearing from one guy, I want to marry you, I'm going to take care of you, take you to Dubai, we're going to get married there, the nation wedding and all that. And I was like, okay, interesting. And it was interesting for me because then I was like, oh, that would be, that would be nice to actually have this kind of, um, you know, vibe from someone. But then when I thought back about it and I was like, how can I marry someone that's older than me? That's, I just put a stop to it. We didn't talk anymore. We didn't have a conversation. I think that was the only time I nearly got influenced. I think I would have gotten married to someone that I hated just because of someone else. Mm-hmm. That's nice. So that was like her worst experience. She was almost pressured to get married. I think I've also had the same um, feeling where, but I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't move with the pressure. This guy was like, I want to get married to you. I want to come back from Dubai and get married to you. Yeah. I didn't really love the guy, but um I felt like people are getting married. Why don't I get married? I, I had my friends that had like three kids, two kids, four kids. And I was just there, I mean, working with no, no marriage and everything. But I didn't feel pressure because one thing I know is that I'm not going to get enter into a marriage that was loveless. I wasn't going to get into that kind of marriage. Yeah, so You have to marry your friend. Yes. I need a marriage of love. I need a marriage of laughter, of humor, of games and jokes and all that. Yeah. So that aside, what's your worst experience? Are you still thinking about it? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't keep what's the experience. I, that, I, I, like that, I understand. We don't remember them. When it happens, we, like we learn, we like we learn to be like understand why it happened. Mm. I would just like see it as and let it go. Exactly. I don't keep it as oh my worst experience. I've already learned from it. Okay. For me, do I have a worst experience? I think it's our time to check out from this hotel. Let me go and tell them that we are almost ready. They are calling us. Wait. <laughs> So what was it like growing up in the house? I mean, we had a, a soldier of a father. We had a mom. Our mom is Yoruba. Soja and our, our mom is Yoruba, for those that don't know. Yeah. You can watch my intro video on getting to know me. You can see about my family. And my dad is Igbo. So uh, it was a tribal home, but we didn't get the feeling that it was a tribal home because we were very, we were very English. Yeah, our dad English. studied abroad, my came back. <laughs> Christiana. Everyone literally has like a very good. I mean, yeah, Valerie, Vivian, Vanessa, Christina, Christina. not Christiana. Okay. Okay. So yes, yeah, so how was it like growing up in the house? Did you guys yeah. have friends come over? Never. Did you attend parties? Mm-hmm. Did you have games? Maybe my dad travels. 
Let them sit there and finish coming over. Don't Should let them. They you know. <laughs> Daddy come back. So friend. for so we, I think for us, we had a disciplinarian as a father. Like um, very strict. He's very strict. So he he so hits at this. Now. Yeah, he hits at the slightest provocation. So it wasn't it wasn't easy at all. You know, telling him and it, it's not like a white household. Yourself. Definitely not like a white household. And yeah, it was difficult a bit. Well, I think that's what majority of Nigerian fathers do now. And I think that's what we're trying to do differently in our parenting yeah. staff. You know, get kids to talk and all that, but we didn't have that growing up. But we turned out all right. So Yeah, we definitely, we definitely turned out all right. Although we had to figure it out ourselves in some kind of way. We we're lucky we had ourselves. Yeah. And because we had ourselves, we we're able to buffer whatever feelings we had. We we're our best talk friends. About it. We held each other's hands, we spoke to each other, we are our um, how would I say it? We are man Friday, which is our our supporter. So we we, yeah. we grew that strength to help out our younger sisters because it wasn't easy, trust me. So why is it for only children? Only children. Oh, yeah. My God, I don't know. It's not really sad, but I feel like if they have that personal relationship with their parents, either their dad or their mom, they, they, they would not need to have like a sibling. a sibling because they, they, they would want one. Obviously, because you need it's going to be really boring. But we were able to, it was a big large home. We we're able to work with ourselves. We we're each other's friends and we use that to help ourselves. Aside from that, um, we didn't really have the chance to have friends come over, all those sleepovers. Yeah, I almost sleep but it was, you had some yeah. atarodo on the side, some pepper, pepper spices. You know, you mm-hmm. get this and you take out this. Uh, dad was very good with education. He always wanted us to have like the best education. Yeah. So he was very strong and tough on that but in the social life we literally didn't have social life we had we to yeah we didn't have social didn't have life our social life was all of us each other we are uh, yeah we had our lots. social life as mm-hmm. each other so yeah all those ones where you have friends coming to sleep over yeah, or parties in your home that that in which house my daddy's house you do dare not the girl is putting her hand in your shirt yeah 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 she wants to you know she wants to suck breasts, <laughs> but it's not gonna work. You will see this video in the next thing is on. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, that's about it for um, growing up. Growing up was fun. We we did everything from helping our mom in the kitchen to um, cleaning and tidying up the house ourselves to um, you know doing all those small small things in the house. What else again did we do when we were growing up? Church. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of church. There's a lot of church. Growing up in a Catholic household, even in that, our Mary, this is block rosary for those that can relate. So, then we went to boarding school. Like, what is our offense? You know, when you like, you know, it's it's you know when you commit a sin, like you, you get pregnant with a boy, and your dad carries you to a non school, they cut off your hair, give you. No, oh, yeah, kid. you went to that now. I'm not going to be any boyfriend, though. Gen Z, they need to hold them tight. Yeah, it's yeah, too tough, yeah. yeah, too no. tough for that. Anyway. I was just too then. Suddenly, I'm yeah. being carried from, from school to an ambrasty. What's my offense? They cut my hair. Ah, give me gown. And, and I was already wearing skirts. And I'm tired as a senior that I am. And, and I'll match my pinafore with yeah. gown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But then it was a good experience because I learned from it. I can speak Igbo now, like more than all of them. They can't yeah. speak Igbo. She so. can't speak Igbo more than me. No, she cannot. Really? Uh, yeah, she's still. So, one of them. 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 And in school, they don't speak Igbo. They can't speak Igbo. English is rare. I'm from Christina Chibo Agumana. Oh my God. I'm not going to speak Igbo. I'm not going to speak Igbo. I'm from Agumana. I'm from Agumana. I'm from Agumana. I want to have you. My name is. My name is. Whatever. My name is. Chiazo Vivian. One of you, a Billy. Like she's letting you guys know. She's letting you know that the Billy is here. Why the Billy can't say Chiazo Vivian? I just put the. I, I didn't want to take out one of you, so I put it. But well, okay, 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 okay. JJ, so let's introduce this is, our babies. This is okay. Go ahead. She's with the talking. Okay, this is Jidena Jaden. Mm. His um grandpa uh, named him Samuel too, so we'll just add that. Then his surname Samuel is Ibele. JJ. Mm. Yeah. And this is uh Zikora Nachi Mamaka. Mm. Yeah. 
um princess zikora princess kyra mm. anastasia mm. <laughs> There's not once. She will change it for you. What are you guys' goals and aspirations? So basically, for me, um, as a millennial, I'm just basically looking at having my family in the best way possible, traveling the world places whenever I can, and you know, having a good source of income. Because I'm quite yeah. settled. I have a family now and I just want to be relaxed till I go old and grey, you know, yeah. tour the world if, as much as I can Sorry, and, you know, baby. build up my YouTube page so I show you guys lots of videos. Yeah. I remember to subscribe. Okay, for me, I guess uh, it's very, very straightforward. In the next five years, I'm currently in HR, so I tend to be, um, you know, in a position where is a head or um a director position in the next five years um still my youtube growing that you know having a kid i've kind of put that on pause so restart that again and then you know be an awesome wife long the long road is not being in this country anymore because this country okay so my goal right now is to increase my ns1 brand my crochet brand yeah. i see it like in a few months years it's going to have his own shop Hopefully, yes. walk in shop, no more online. Yeah. I'm still online to like both, both. both online and walking, walk in, yeah. just like an ex expand yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. So for me, like every day I keep learning more on my editing. Like I said, I want to start like editing videos very soon, music videos, movies, and everything because everything basically is not, like. It's it's Absolutely. now online and it's now exactly that's the word digital. So like to make things better and more like to put a smile on your face so that you see what you're paying for. And also like my schooling to music Ooh. editing, it's gonna add more and all the, like, every other thing. Oh yeah. I think add love. It's gonna come. It's gonna come, yeah. It's love gonna is gonna come, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna find us and that's about it. I'm gonna so, cry my own baby too. Oh she wanna cry your baby. <laughs> I'm going to do some um, um, rich anti vibes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the, that's the goal. I even want to wear a what do you call it? A shape. Ah, she has a shape. Oh, okay. like sister. Have you seen before in weddings? Ah, they just take over the whole wedding. They're always behind you, right? Walking up and down, walking seriously. Slippers. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah. All right, guys. So that comes to the end of our video. I hope you guys loved it. And if you did, please give it a like, a thumbs, thumbs and remember up. to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> mother, mother, your mother. Mother, your mother. Please, please, please. Just turn the phone. What are you doing? Okay. Lose your song. Oh yeah. Okay.